Hi, I'm Jed Thorpe, Advocacy Coordinator at Save the Bay, and today we're going to talk about rain barrels and rain gardens, which are two things that you could do as a homeowner to help improve and protect Narragansett Bay. Now the reason rain barrels and rain gardens are important is because they help to capture rainwater that would become stormwater. Now stormwater runoff and stormwater pollution is currently one of the biggest problems facing Narragansett Bay, and the way a rain barrel and a rain garden help is they, they capture that first flush of rainwater that would otherwise go into our streams, into our ponds, and directly eventually into Narragansett Bay. And in a perfect world, the rain that falls would soak slowly into the soil and find its way much more slowly and be filtered by the soil before going into the bay. But because of human development, that rain falls on roofs, it falls on parking lots, it falls on roads, and it gets swept much more quickly into the bay and it carries with it all the pollution that it finds along the way. So um, uh, if there's trash and debris on the road, that gets swept into the bay. If there's oil and grease on the road, that'll get swept into the bay. And much of our stormwater does not get treated, okay? That does not go to a wastewater treatment plant. In most places in the watershed, that finds its way directly into our streams and rivers and into Narragansett Bay why that's why rain barrels and rain gardens are so important so let's start by taking a look at the rain barrel okay so this is my simple rain barrel set up right here uh, this is a 55 gallon barrel which is a, a kind of a standard size for rain barrels there's a wide variety of rain barrels out there you can find them at lowe's and home depot uh, you may have to buy them online if you get them there you can just Google rain barrel and find different places to buy them online. But oftentimes local organizations, uh, conservation districts, environmental groups will have rain barrel workshops where you can pick up a, a rain barrel, perhaps at a cheaper cost, and also get some instructions on how to install it and how to make the most use out of it. Uh, luckily, uh, rain barrels don't require a whole lot of maintenance. This is an open top rain barrel where the rain comes down the downspout and just uh, kind of pours into the top of the rain barrel. Uh, if you have an open top rain barrel, you do need to periodically uh, clean these holes, maybe uh, once or twice a year if you notice that the rain's getting backed up when it rains. Uh, you'll want to just clean, uh, clean that out as you need to. Um, most rain barrels also have some sort of uh, overflow uh, device. Again, um, this one here, you can see I have my overflow. Once it fills up to the top, it goes out this little overflow spout, and I have mine set up so that it eventually feeds my rain garden, which we'll talk more about in a second. Uh, that's really it in a nutshell for rain barrels. Again, this is just a way to capture rainwater, which you can use later in your garden. If you have any questions about rain barrels or if you want to find out more information, you can go to our website, savebay.org, for more information about rain barrels. Now, let's take a look at the rain garden. Okay, so this is our rain garden. And it's currently the first week of December, so obviously it doesn't look like much right now. Most of our perennials that we planted back in April and May have died off for the winter. But when it was in full bloom, it looked quite nice, and uh, the bees and the butterflies were quite happy with the rain garden. Um, the first thing that you want to do is pick a good location. If you have a low-lying spot on your property, that would be an obvious uh, spot to put a rain garden. If you have a place where rain water is already gathering and pooling. But if you don't have that, you'll just need to do a little bit of site preparation work. You'll need to uh, dig down about six to eight inches, create a depression where you want your rain garden to go. You'll also need to figure out a way to get the rain to the rain garden. Now ours is set up so that our rain goes to the rain barrel first and then goes through this pipe and um, goes into our inlet and feeds the rain garden. Now, in terms of plants, you can really plant anything that you want. Native plants are always ideal. In the center or the bottom of the rain garden, you're gonna to wanna to plant things that will do well in wet soil. Things like uh, cardinal flower, joe pie weed, uh, swamp milkweed, blue flag iris, or just some of the plants that we put in the center or the bottom of our rain garden. And then on the sides, the slope and the berm, you can really plant anything that you want in there because they won't get as much moisture. Uh, rain gardens don't really need much maintenance. If you get a lot of leaf litter, uh, there in the fall. You might want to clean some of the leaves out just to make sure that, that your inlets and your outlet are not blocked. So that's our video about rain barrels and rain gardens. If you want more information, visit our website at savebay.org. And thanks for watching.